pencil, a feather, a pair of jeans, a roll of toilet paper or a candle. These objects can be transformed into the most spectacular works of art. Salavat Fidei used to be a lawyer. Now he carves the most delicate sculptures from pencil lead. A sharp knife, steady hands and about two days. And nothing less than the Bremen Town musicians emerge from the lead like magic. Chris Maynard, our second example for creative extremes, also has a great eye for detail. He has been working with feathers since he was 12. His secret weapons are surgical scissors, tweezers and of course all kinds of magnifying glasses. Know about from the blue. Ian Barry is a master of denim art. His objective are photorealistic paintings made from denim for which he cuts the cloth in all its different shades and hues. Like her predecessors, Anastasia Elias has turned her passion into a career. She works with toilet paper rolls. With nail scissors or a cutter in the right paper, she cuts little sceneries. It takes her three to four hours to finish her magical miniatures. With just a little backlight, they become a mesmerizing shadow play. We've now reached the last of our extremes. Fifteen years ago, Steven Spazuk was inspired by a dream. Ever since, he has been using candle flames like pens. Without singeing the paper, he leaves traces of soot. It's always a combination of talent, patience, practice and sometimes a dream that makes extraordinary people extraordinary.